Shopify Analytics. This is probably uh, my favourite part of the platform, um, especially running stores that sell product. This is where you get all your, your information. Um, over on the left here, you have analytics, you have your dashboards, reports and live view. Um, this is a store I work on and just for privacy reasons I've, I've set it to last year just because the data is uh, sensitive they want to keep it to themselves um, very new store so that's why last year is showing nothing uh, but anyway we can still take a look uh, compares because I've selected last year all the graphs and um, data will basically be a yearly look so your graphs are going to go by months obviously if you had it set to there's a lot of time time frames you can pick, or you can go custom. If you pick, say, today, they'll break it down in hours, etc. And it also compares it to the previous time frame. So this is last year, so in the uh, purple, it, it's last year, and then grey compares to the 2016 year prior to that. Um, so let's have a look. Total sales, pretty self-explanatory, breaks it down by months of dollar figures of your total sales. Online store sessions, uh, basically all your visitors, once again broken down over months. Uh, returning customer rate, this is your percentage of customers that return to make a purchase and that will also compare your first time purchases to your returning purchases. Probably my favourite um, data and what I touched on in the blog online store conversion rate this is uh, basically a conversion funnel as it says so this breaks down the sessions so up there you hit the total amount of sessions and this will give you a total amount with a percentage of the total of customers that add product to cart reach checkout and ultimately make the purchase so, quick example, 100 people up there in total visit the store. Say 10 add product to the carts, so there will be 10 sessions and 10%. Um, reached cart, say 5 of those people go on to reach the checkout. Uh, so there will be 5 sessions and 5% and then ultimately 2 of those people purchase. There will be 2 sessions and your conversion rate will be 2%. So this is a great way of picking up problems in your funnel. Um, so say 20% added to cart and 18% reached checkout but only 2% converted that would show a big drop off of people at the checkout so that could be a number of problems say they get there and your shipping is, is way too expensive they might look elsewhere or go into a bricks and mortar um, but yeah you sh these stats I mean you just got to look for anything that just seems a bit wrong I think generally a good conversion rate's about two to four percent of your total visitors. Um, but yeah, yeah, moving on, your average order value. Um, this is once again self-explanatory. Your number of orders, the average dollar amount of those orders, and then your total orders. Once again, broken down over months. Uh, if we go down a bit further, top products by units sold so this will list your top products and obviously the number one seller by units will be at the top of the list a uh, great way to obviously see see what product is selling the best online store sessions by traffic source this is basically your social um, obviously social media your direct and search so Google and that kind of thing um, online store sessions by location so where where people are coming from New Zealand America Australia and then it gives you total number with percent change um, online store sh store sessions by device type so this is your desktop mobile or tablet once again gives you a total amount and then gives you a percentage change down here sales by 
social source so this will give you a dollar figure of your sales via your social media so you say Facebook and it might say $58 uh, Instagram $130 um, great way of seeing, seeing what social media is working for you sales by traffic source uh, this will once again give you a dollar figure and say search social etc so Google would show up here someone's Googled your product come through and purchased it would say search and then dollar, dollar figure of who's come via Google same thing with social media as a whole uh, say two hundred dollars of of product was sold via your Instagram and Facebook this would just say social and give you a dollar figure of sales that have come via your social medias online store sessions by social source so same as your sales but just your visitors how many people have come to your store via those social media channels top referrers by sessions so this data here will tell you what websites are sending you the most referrals or sessions, customers, people, what websites are sending the most to your website, um, top landing pages by sessions, same kind of thing but what page it will give like a URL snippet of the page that the sessions are landing on so it will be a number figure and then also give you a percentage change and then your total sales attributed to marketing campaigns a bit more complex you set up uh, UTM parameters with URLs and that kind of thing and so that will just basically measure in dollar terms your sales that have come via results of the marketing campaigns you've set up with the UTM parameters um, reports I can't go in there because it will just automatically show all the data but if you click on reports it will give you on a basic Shopify plan you'll get acquisition so you'll basically get an acquisition report sessions over time sessions by referrer sessions by location and break it all down for you uh, behavior which is a great one um, online store conversion over time top online store searches top online store searches with no results sessions by landing page, sessions by device, etc, etc. These reports are great, but if you want the full full um, use of them, you have to obviously get a, you have to upgrade from the basic plan. Um, the finance, finances report in there is quite good as well. It will give you, you know, your total sales, taxes, payments, all that, all that financial stuff, um, and also marketing gives you a marketing report for sessions by marketing campaigns, sales by marketing campaigns, um, etc. So that is a quick overlook at the analytics.